Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA Online video. And in today's video, we're going to be building the 1970 Chevelle SS from the film John Wick. And that's about time I built this vehicle because it is a sight to be seen. It is so beautiful and I don't even know why it's taken me so long to build this car because it is fucking awesome. And we're going to be using the Declasse Sabre Turbo, which you can be purchased, which can be purchased, sorry, from Benny's for 15 grand. So obviously if you guys want to follow me on this build, go and purchase yourself with the Classy Sabre Turbo for $15,000 from Benny's. Meet me back in LS Customs and I'll show you how to do the rest. So you go my dudes, as you pull into LS Customs, you'll see the Sabre Turbo is in the muscle category. Now before we start the build, just one thing I want to clear up with you guys. The reason I've brought it into LS Customs rather than taking it into Benny's is because we need this stripe across the top. And when you take it into Benny's and upgrade it... We lose that livery. For some weird reason, we don't get an option to reclaim that livery. So uh, we can get everything we need in LS Customs for this build. So uh, that's the reason why I'm doing it in LS Customs and not Benny's. Uh, because I know when you take it into Benny's and do the Benny's upgrade, it makes the Sabre Turbo a little bit faster. But we lose the livery and we need the livery for this build. So it's essential you take it into LS Customs and not Benny's. Now, without any further ado, we're going to start with 100% body armor. Then we're going to go to the brakes. We're going to get the race brakes. And then for the bumper, front bumper, I believe we're going to leave this stock. Unless we can get a chrome bumper without the license plate, which we can't. So, yeah, we're going to leave the front bumper stock. For the rear bumper, also, we're going to leave this stock because the only other option is the painted one. And we need a chrome. Then we're going to move over to the engine. And you want to get the level 4 engine upgrade. And for the exhaust, I believe I'm going to leave this stock also. Unless you want to grab the chrome tip. It doesn't really... Or oh, we can get the big balls as well. It doesn't really matter. We definitely don't want the side exhaust. Um, so personal preference, guys. You can either have the big ball, the chrome tip. Or you can keep it stock. It's entirely up to you guys. Whatever you prefer. It doesn't really make much difference in the way of this build. Um, I personally think the chrome tip exhaust looks the nicest. So I'm going to go with that one. So next we're going to move down to the grill. At the moment we've got a chrome grill and we need to have it painted. So we're going to need the painted lights around. So next we're going to move over to the hood. Um, at the moment the hood look, actually looks quite good. We kind of want it to bulge out a little bit. So if we've got the option to do that, maybe... Mm, yeah, maybe this one would be a good option. Uh, definitely not them. We don't want the big blocks at the top. Yeah, the ram air hood is probably a good choice. Or we've got the cowl induction. Overall, I think the, the Ram Air Hood actually looks the best. Um, but then, like I said, the Cowl Induction Hood is also a good a good shout. Uh, so I suppose it's going to be personal preference. I th You can have it as personal preference because, obviously, you, you can choose what the fuck you want. But um, with, the, with the Ram Air Hood, it's got the, the bonnet pins on there, or the hood pins on there as well, which the the uh, Chevelle SS has it does have that in the car in the film it does have the the hood pins um, but then we've got the cowl induction which doesn't have them so that's a, t that's a toughie <laughs> it's a toughie um, I suppose it's, you know it's entirely up to you guys what you want to purchase I think the the Ram Airhead actually looks the the best one of the two um, but if you disagree and you'd rather go with a cowl induction go with that but for me I think I think the hood pins are selling it for me. So I'm going to go with a Ram Air hood. So next we're going to go to the lights. I'm going to go to headlights and purchase the Xeon headlights. So then I'm going to go to the respray. I'm going to go primary colour. Standard classic because I want to change that stripe to white. And it's essential we're going to go classic. Because if we go metallic, them colours are going to start fucking, fucking up each other. So yeah, stay classic for the primary colour. And we're going to go and find a really nice dark green. And there we have it. I think I'm going to go with a racing green. That actually looks really fucking sweet. Uh, the, the dark green's a little bit too dark, I think. I think the racing green tops off just perfectly. So yeah, you want to go with primary colour, classic racing green. And for the secondary colour, guys, you are also going to classic. I believe this is going to change the racing stripe, which it is. And you want to go and get... Oh, do we want ice white or frost white? I, f I believe ice white is a little bit creamier. So we're going to go frost white. So the next option we've got is a roll cage. The car in the film does not have a roll cage. So I'd suggest not purchasing one, but obviously you can if you want. That look, that stunt cage looks really cool, um, but yeah, like I said, the one in the film does not have a roll cage, so I'm going to leave mine stock. Then we're going to move over to the spoiler. The one in the film does not have a spoiler, so we do not need to purchase it, which is just as well because um, I think that ruins the car. 
you know, a little bit. I, I think it ruins the look of it. So I'm glad the car doesn't have a spoiler um, because with none, it looks 10 times better. Then we're going to move down to the suspension. We're going to get the competition suspension. Then we're going to get the transmission. We're going to get the race transmission and turbo tuning. Now for the wheels, guys, you are going to wheel type it into muscle, go into the chrome rims, and then you want to go and grab. These ones actually look quite good. I think we can do better with the cracker rims. Are they the ones? Yeah. Yeah, the cracker rims, man. I think, yeah, I think they're the best looking ones. They don't look very chromed, though, do they? They don't look very chromed. Why is that? You, you compare the wheels to the bumper. Definitely don't look chromed, and you're paying 50k for them. Motherfucker. But yeah, anyway, the ones in the film are fucking chromed out to hell, man. So we're going to go chromed cracker rims. And whilst we're here, guys, you are going to the tyres and purchase the bulletproof tyres. And to finish off the build, as always, you're going to the windows and purchase the light smoke window tint. So you get my dudes, there is my variation of the 1970 Chevelle SS from the movie John Wick. Now I think this vehicle actually looks really, really good. Um, I've done a few Chevelle SS builds on my channel before and I've always used the Sabre Turbo. And um, I think it does a really, really good job because it's got a very, very similar body shape. It's got the uh, the quad headlights at the front or the twin headlights, whichever you, whichever you want to call them. Um, so it's very similar. It's also got this livery that goes over the top. I know the one from John Wick doesn't have the livery on the roof and also and also a double racing stripe and not a singular racing stripe um, but it does have the chrome bumpers it's got the painted lights around it's got the same rims man uh, you know I think it actually does a really really good job um, of playing as a Chevelle SS especially the, from the one from John Wick um, alternatively you could also take this into Benny's and obviously um, get rid of the livery which might be an, uh, you know a way to go so here we go, we're pulling into Benny's man, I'm going to have to do it, I'm going to have to see what this vehicle is going to look like without the livery, so if you are watching this build right about now and you can't afford that sort of money just for a fucking John Wick muscle car, then uh, look away now, because, <laughs> because I'm about to spend half a million, I'm just getting rid of a livery, what the fuck am I doing, but anyway let's do it, so here we go, and there it, there it goes, and you know, I don't know, does that look better, I think it does, to be honest guys, I actually think that looks better without the livery. Um, but, you know, personal preference and all that. And obviously, wealth. If I mean, if you haven't got the fucking nearly half a million to get rid of a livery, then obviously don't go and do it. And just do it with the standard livery and LS Customs. But, you know, I think it looks okay without the livery. Um, and also, when you do this upgrade, it does make your car a lot a lot faster. A lot faster. Um, so it might be a, a, an option. It might be a way to go. And I think it looks okay, you know, it looks pretty cool. But overall shape of this vehicle is fucking bang on. Uh, it's got the right grille, the right headlights, it's got the right wheels, it's got the right tail end. It's just, other than the livery, it's fucking bang on. So anyway guys, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please smash a like. And if you haven't already, want to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 content. And until next time guys, I'm out. Adios.